I think it's like easier for them to come to the West Coast is what I read rather than the East Coast. I, I can't. I'm, I'm not that great at it. Please don't quote me. But I, I remember them like people saying it's a lot easier for them. Um, but we'll see, man. If everybody's watching the mm -hmm. VOD, uh, unfortunately, uh, Kaching, aka Nair, he decided he wanted to DQ. Thus giving the ben, Ven the buy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thus giving Ven the buy into grand finals. Oh my god. They're not picking the stage. Okay. Anyway. Maybe a wrong stage pick. Okay, anyways, point is, Kaching DQ'd, therefore, Ven got to buy from Losers Grand Finals, I'm sorry, Losers Finals, into Grand Finals, so Ven was able to pretty much get a free ride to Grand Finals against Mabel, because Kaching, aka Nair, DQ'd, so, in case everybody's wondering what happened, you know, you guys all see the VOD. Well, we won't, so since we won't be seeing a rematch between Kaching and um, Mabel, where Mabel pulled out a free O against Kaching, um, we'll see how Mabel manages to do against, uh, Ven, top Zelda Ven. I'm not sure what kind of experience Mabel has or how many times these two have fought each other, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this I... matchup might not be as bad for Doc as seems on paper with his reflector, but when it comes to recovery, we'll see how Ven can abuse that. But right now, it just seems like an absolute stomp from Mabel, who I believe got second at Xanadu next, next week, or last week. So okay. is looking to pull a weekly, a big weekly tournament win under their belt. And oh, yeah. look at Bates out the reflect. Ven's already ready for the counterplay here. And it's pretty much like kind of what's been the story of the whole night, T3. Is it's been character specialist against, I'm sorry, player, spe player character specialist against player your character specialist, you know, Mabel being a very, very right. strong Doc main, of course, Ven being one of the best Zelda mains in the world. It goes to show like this will probably be somewhat the argument of like how the matchup is played on the last here. So for Mabel, it's really strong for him to get the anti air, but also seeing how Ven is gonna be aggressive from the ledge off the bat. Nice movement coming in between stocks, but Ven is not having any of it. Gets the gimp with the neutral B and we're at a complete dead even game until until another trippy hits <laughs> pretty much all right well that landing there coming off of maple not going to be a full conversion though nonetheless he's been able to escape that ledge because he knows that knockback from mario is the one thing you should fear right this is mabel has been able to show that it's an extremely explosive character once once doc gets you in the, the vortex that he has Ooh, another early reflect not working out here Mabel is going to have to think twice before pulling that out. I would argue that Dr. Mario doesn't, have, doesn't even have a vortex. It's just a straight, like, 18-wheeler truck that just hits you in the face <laughs> out of nowhere. And you're just like, really? That hit me? And then it just hurts. Ooh, barely survives that. Yeah, but definitely, yeah, you might not call it a vortex. More so just the tech chase, because yeah. Mabel's definitely can, able to get, like, tech chase strings and, and, and extensions onto platforms. With this character oh nice coverage right there uses the phantom to cover the ground mabel afraid of landing on the ground air dodges on the platform and ben covers it with an air but mabel answering right back though ven has the lead mabel can take this time to gather information he's got an extra set to lose here yeah and that is true uh one thing i always tell people is just to use all of the abilities of like okay Ooh, I maybe lost. you want to be reversed up either. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that would have been a fall. Uh, but you lose game one, you lose set one, you have time to evaluate. You know, give, your, give yourself that chance to be like, what happened, what did wrong. A lot of players usually get heated and they go into the next match and they'd be like, nah, man, I'm going to get him. But the proper reality is, like, you need to use that 30 seconds you kind of have to yourself to compose yourself and think, okay, what went wrong? You know, and in this case, right. for April, he's got a whole set. You know, he's got data to collect, man. And once that data yeah. is fully collected, man, you can know the next set might actually play out different. If yeah, that don't be don't be too quick to jump back and run it back. You know, exactly. take the time to, for a breather and realize, you know, what went wrong? Why did it go wrong? What can I do better the next time around? So we'll see how that adaptation uh, comes through here. Three, two, one, go! Moving on to PS2. I'm trying to think about why Doc would prefer this stage versus Smashville that we just saw. Maybe the Phantom pressure from Ven. Having two plot, 
I think, uh, yeah, I think in this case, the Phantom Pressure, he has two platforms. Kind of move around a little bit too. Center space move remains a little bit open. Yeah, I would definitely say it's a little bit of the Phantom Pressure. Just, just slightly yeah, more just space. Just be able to back away. Mm -hmm. uh, this this oh. neutral beat is serving ah. wonders for Ben. Getting, even if it's just kind of a trade, the neutral B has been a very solid tool in this matchup against Doc and was able to get a down air two frame for the kill. Down throw into up B's, gonna answer right back though. Gotta be very, very cognizant. That is one of Doc's biggest win conditions is getting down throw at ledge. Can, can combo into up B, can combo into the Dr. Tornado, if that's what you call it. The down special kills extremely early. That's one thing you gotta watch out for. Yeah. And Mabel, with the experience that he has <clears throat> for people not wanting to get caught in that, very, very aware to catch rolls or jumps out of the corner to avoid that win condition. And now he's got the lead after that up air or up smash trade, just like I finished off the first stock in game one. Yeah, what a this factor is reaction. Forth. It's, just, it's just a game of tennis right here. They're knocking each other across the stage back and forth, and we're only 90 seconds into this game. And they're both on last dock. Almost reacts to the get up there. The get up attack doesn't find it. Mabel jumps out of shield, gets caught with a nair. Excellent spacing on the backers. Ben not panicking and holding forward this time out of the corner, but a bit of a scary situation here. Ooh, didn't quite get the sweet spot on that forward air for the shield pressure. These two have just been going like back and forth, even when it comes to the ledge, just trading places. Dash attack's been serving wonders for Ven, though, to get out of the corner. Yeah, it's a little bit disjointed more than you would think, too. So Ven's been able to use that. You can also use dash attack to pretty much catch your opponent landing. And at times, within that we see Maple trying to fade away with an aerial, that might be good for Ben just catching the situation here. But Maple finally stage control here. A couple of pills to send Ben for the low recovery. Can Maple actually catch the landing here? Because he does need the stock and at least this game. Smash. There it is. Oh, whiffs the upbeat, but no punish. And Maple's going to be looking for most likely not a smash. To I like that. Game, but I, that was the good empty That's hop. always a great option. Yeah. Empty hop. Um, tornado. Is a very good option to mix up the single hit moves. A lot of people will drop shield early on that, thinking, oh, I'm gonna get forward aired, oh, maybe I'll get back aired, then I can drop shield. But with the tornado, you know, it's a multi hit move, you might think the move is over, let go of your shield, and get hit by the rest of it and die for it like that. Exactly. And that, I've seen so many players drop it to, like, to that situation too. You can also just go for straight up B, but definitely Maple had a really good way of getting around night. And it's kind of what we see Pokemon Stadium 2 become the stage choice it is. Also, big, big shout-outs to YMCA and Master Mario, who are also in the chat as well. Thank you guys for being in the chat and joining us today. <laughs> Bass the Barrio. Well, pretty much uh, game three here between Mabel and Ben. Uh, of course, uh, this is good for Mabel and wanting to get a point on the board at least. You know, hoping to avoid the possible 2-0 lead from Ben and maybe the bracket reset. But like I said, man, Mabel has room for error here and downloads to make him as a doctor. He has, and it, he basically has to evaluate his patient for a game if he so chooses to. Or he could be the doctor that he is and so use that PhD right to its degrees. Just say, you know what, I already have, I already have the diagnosis. You know what, let's just get it over with. Now yeah, you really took that and just ran away with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to say, oh no! Maybe he was trying to go so low. You know, I, I believe that this stage has one of the lowest bottom blast zones in the game. And yeah, yeah. it would show it feels, itself right there. I, I've never tried to look at it that way, but I for sure uh -huh. think like it, that's the case. The stage. It's weird. And when you get spiked on the stage, you just kind of disappear out of existence because yeah. the bottom blast zone rises when you get spiked. Not, the, not, not a super commonly known fact. But these two have done a great job of answering right back. Nobody's really been able to hold a lead after taking a stock for that long. Oh, so Ben looking for a follow up afterwards here. Man, that is a back air and then reaction from Ben. Yeah, I was going to say he might be going for back air himself here. 
This is the second time the charm. Jesus, Ben is looking for this bracket reset for sure. I mean, I, I'm not complaining. The more Smash we get to watch, the better. Yeah. Um, yeah, just maybe couldn't react with the up B out of shield in time, but Ben's going to take that to the bank and doesn't have, doesn't mind at all just being patient in this corner. Gets the ledge trump and a down air. Sends Ben to the other side of the stage, and that back air pressure is gonna seal the stock. Oh man, there it is again. As, as soon as somebody, <laughs> as soon as somebody loses a stock, they just come right back swinging, and it's working out on both ends. Tries to get the gimp with the neutral B again, but miss spaces that teleport on stage. That could have been a lot of damage, but Mabel drops the combo. Excellent bait right there. Using the double jump, kind of acted like it was gonna land. Oh, that, that's very scary. Yo, I don't excuse think he me. wanted that. I he don't did think not I wanted want that. that. Yeah, he did not. Both times. But that's that's something that that a character like Doc is gonna make make you suffer for all day. Oh man, you said it best. Jesus, Doctor the Mario is up in. <laughs> if I went to this doctor and I was Ben right now, I'd be very upset. But no pun intended. Let me get into something really quick before we get into the rest of the match, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I haven't had time to talk about it lately, but we saw it earlier. Um, look, I'm gonna be real. I will, I have YouTube. I have this app for everything in life, man. There's an app to order your food, an app to go to work, you name it, man. This app for everything. So if you're like me and you just want to have an app that has every single highlight from tonight, last night, last week, last month, you name it, man. Check out the Midview app. All the best Smash clips available in one playlist, man. Don't wait. Declutter your YouTube and you will have a really great app as well with a really beautiful app icon, by the way. Uh, so definitely check out MetaView on the iOS and come into the Android slash Google Play Store. So definitely check that out here. But let's get back into Ben and Maple as Maple is pretty much here. 2 -oh, I'm sorry, 2-1 over Ben, possibly ending this game. Yeah, now. sorry it wasn't Carl Weezer this time, but I think <laughs> Vance did a pretty great job. <laughs> That's what I love about Ajax, man. He's just so yeah. unexpected. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was so random. Ooh. He was a bit high to avoid getting two frame possibly, but Ben wasn't able to time the down smash there. That's gonna seal the deal though. Excellent spacing on that F smash. Both of these players very accustomed as to when to bust out these smash attacks, especially on Mabel's end, because that's something that Doc needs to kill consistently. Very wisely chosen roll there. Doesn't get the combo into the pill and tried to read an air dodge out of it, but he's gonna take 35 for that two piece combo. Yeah, and that was good on Mabel once again to also take a page out of Mr. E that we saw earlier too. Just hold the ledge, wait for that perfect timing on the invincibility and then come back Ooh. against the knight. What a punish. Reached into that. You know, Ven, Ven pulled out the forward smash and might have extended Zelda's hurt box into that up smash. Oh, that's that's a great option to throw out when somebody misses their punish on on first reaction. Yeah, most definitely. Good double jump there to get back on the center platform and then try to make a landing here against Ben as well. That's a smart play for Maple, just avoiding that altogether. Nair on the landing. That's gonna be no. That's not. That's not. Please. Oh, that's the wrong say. way. Yeah. And the, there's another misspaced up B though, and that's gonna be another stock. Man, Look, Mario ben has had a lot of jobs. Not with those anymore. No, he doesn't. He oh, excuse me, Ben. Please, not like this. Not like this. Right. He, he's essentially the the video game version of, of the Renaissance man. He can he can do pretty much anything. Yeah, he's had every job. You name it, man. At this point, he's looking to be a bank robber because he's robbing Ben of his money at this point. Uh, but so far, Maple he's looking to just... twenty dollar gift card. <laughs> hey, man, that is money. How about you, man? Oh, yeah, Sometimes yeah. they come in clutch. <laughs> Oh yeah, but you know, you think it hails in comparison to those Mushroom Kingdom coins. Oh, that, oh that definitely. Grab, and you, know? you can now redeem your Mushroom Kingdom coins at the Universal Studios in Japan. That's worth a lot of money, man. I'm just telling you right now. Oh, I'm uh, so excited to see that opening up and, and they plan on opening another location in Hollywood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one here in Universal Studios, uh, California. And I'm sure it'll be a lot better than uh, the Nintendo Land we saw on Wii U. Not that that was a bad game, though. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Definitely cannot wait for it to happen here in California, but right now happening so far is this lead from Maple, double back air, and the stage control looking to just get lead, get aggressive here on Ben. Right, I, all of a sudden, I mean, we were, we were talking so much, but now, like, he's one hit away from closing this out even more so. He's going oh, no. deep. <laughs> that, that was a little overzealous. 
I mean, can't blame him. I was expecting something like a tornado if he's gonna go that deep. But this this could come back to bite him. This is not a said deal. This is not over yet. Stash back out of the corner again. Mabel wants this kill. Oh! That was that was the oh. one time it really mattered. <laughs> and just silencing all the momentum right there. No no comeback for you. <laughs> oh! That was a meta view moment. Oh my god. So, you know, the doc comes through, quite literally gives Ven a taste of his own medicine. You know, the diagnosis is, you're not going to reset this bracket. Crazy uh, stuff right there. Uh, that Naples. was definitely a meta view moment. Oh. And you're right, T3. He did that frame one, bro. He's like, nah, bro. Do not pass go. Do not collect. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. <laughs> no, first you. Uno card. Yeah, that was definitely the reverse Uno card. Do not pass go. Do not collect MSM money. See you next week. <laughs> there it is. You know, that <clears throat> hard grind paid off, paid off. Couldn't quite close it out in last week. Xanadu, but manages to take um, this MSM online 56 in a dominant fashion in that game, in that last game. I know I'm I know I'm just speaking in my own funny tangent here, but now that we have Dr. Mario in like a wedding top hat suit, I do want to see him dressed up as the Monar the the Monopoly man in his own Monopoly, and like you can buy certain portions of the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm just saying, Nintendo, I'm giving you a really good idea. Uh, they've got a they've got a Mario Monopoly out there. Somewhere. Yeah, but it's like you buy the character. Every intellectual property. Yeah, hey, yeah, but I, I would like to be like you know Bowser's Castle, you know Rainbow Road and all that stuff, but. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a good day for Ultimate, guys. And honestly, thank you guys all for being with us here tonight. A very, very, very huge shout outs to our casters of the night, of course, Mighty Man. And of course, please don't forget T3 Dom, one of the best, actually, the best Belmont in the world, uncontested. I don't care what you guys tell me. Uh, <laughs> eat, your, eat your heart out. I don't see any other Belmont putting up these results. I'm it's, sure there's somebody on, you know, somebody somebody on Quick Play. You know, they, they all say he's busted on Quick Play, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like it would be you with an alternate tag. That that's yeah, the true secret. Be like, there's got to be like you know David the Richter main, the, the the 10 million GSP that nobody else in the world has reached yet. David the Richter out there. Main. That sounds like a, you, you're just giving yourself away. It sounds like it's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, shout outs of course to Marty Man and of course T3 Dom joining us for us tonight. Uh, differently shout outs to our partner here with MetaView, man. If you missed out the tournament, if you're just joining us right now, man, check out the highlights on the MetaView app, man. The best Smash Cubs all in one playlist. MetaView brings it directly to you. Man, look, I'm gonna be real. I go on YouTube and I see all the VODs of Smash. And sometimes, bro, I just wanna get to the, all the other juicy content I get to see from like Moist Critical to like, you know shroud the tens man you name it i i just want to go directly to the content sometimes i like watching smash but i want my content and i want my content now and that smash vod clutter sometimes doesn't feel right unless you're watching 2gg smash vod definitely watch like and then you know comment subscribe on all the 2gg videos just saying but if you don't want to do that check out the best clips all in one playlist here at metaview available on the ios store you already have an app for everything you have an app for dating and app for talking to your friends and app for ordering food and app to go to work and app to go to home you guys even have an app to brush your teeth for pokemon so why not get an app that makes all the smash clips easily and accessible and ready for you check out better view now the best part of it is that it is all free man free 99 you cannot forget and of course every now once in a while carl weezer will join and voice this actual advertisement so definitely shout out to carl weezer man sometimes he likes to come through and roll through and just make the advertisement but today he's not here he's busy talking to jimmy's mom about god knows what because <laughs> he's got an obsession with jimmy's mom uh but yeah big shout out to meta view dude honestly <laughs> uh with that being said t3 um you obviously have a Twitter, but for those who don't know, uh, where can people find you? Sure. Um, you can find me at my Twitter, Dom underscore SSB. Same goes for Twitch. Also stream somewhat regularly and on YouTube, which is just my tag. Um, thanks to everybody 
who um, watch these legendary sets here on display. And um, thanks for having me on, Vance. I appreciate uh, getting the opportunity to commentate with you. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, it's, it's come such a long way. Like, I never forget the Evo that I met you. It was like 2019. And yeah, the I, carpool. And that, the carpool. That, was, that was fun. That was, def that was definitely fun. But People I just fun, but <laughs> <laughs> It's more about the journey. The the yeah, that, that's what it is. Yeah. And it's true. It's about the journey rather than the destination. It was definitely fun. Uh, Dom, you've been to many in MSM. You've been to many SoCal tournaments here. We have one place left to go. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? We are going to the sky. All right. To the skies it is, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you back next week with more MSM Online. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.